What's up guys, Roberto Rosas here with the Dormit YouTube channel. This week it's all about Shaolin and today we're going to talk about what are some of the key issues, some of the key faults that we create in an effort to get Shaolin the way down. So what are some of the things that we do in an attempt to get Shaolin that actually get us in a bunch of trap trouble? What kind of are we putting into the book? How are we manipulating our hands? Or how are we manipulating the rest of our body? Let's still take a look. So if I have this visual in my mind, when I'm very first beginning golf, and this is the same way I started, I bet you started the same way too. If I'm just gonna swing this club and pull the handle of the club toward the target as hard as I can, what ends up happening is if I swing nice and shallow and on plane, because I'm dragging this handle toward the target, look at my face, it's wide open. So if I hit a shot like this, you'll notice I'll be nice and shallow, but I'll have the idea of just pulling my handle toward the target as hard as I can, I'm probably gonna have a big block slice. Hopefully I don't hit a house on the right side. I'll try to tone it down a little bit. Oh geez, that's way over there. Sorry to the neighbors. Hopefully I didn't hit anything. But I had it nice and shallow. I pulled the handle toward the target and now the club face is wide open. So even if you start out shallowing out the club, you start out on the right track, you get some pretty negative feedback right away when that ball goes 45, 50 yards to the right, and then slices even more. That's why everybody starts. So from there, we say, okay, what can I do to fix that? Well, instead of doing the correct way, which we'll talk about here in a little bit, which has to do what we're doing in handle, the natural inclination is to say, okay, I'm gonna come over the top, and now I'll start to get a little steeper and over the top, and I get that ball, again, I'm not getting rid of the slice, but I'm taking that slice and I'm moving it over to the left side. So now it starts down the left side and the left rough, it slices back into the middle of the fairway and I'm hitting the ball in play at least. So what do I see golfers doing wrong? Well, very often the golf club shaft will steepen because of how the arms move in that transition because the, of the, normally of the trail arm, in this case it's the right arm, the shoulder and the elbow and how they move. What I see golfers doing in practice is they will shallow the golf club by how they change their body angles. So you can see as I change my body angles, the golf club shallows. So yes, the golf club looks as if it's in a shallower position, but relative to the body, it hasn't changed. There's no relationship change there. It's just that we've taken that relationship and we've just extended the body, tipped the body back, and yes, we've got the golf club shallower, but what's gonna happen now is really gonna stall our rotation. We're probably gonna struggle with low point tissues. We're gonna catch the ground early. And through impact, because of what I've done with my body, I'm gonna have a, an excessive flip this way. Now, if we shallow the golf club that way, we may well be able to hit those right to left shots that you're kind of desiring. Um, but because of the way the body struggles to function through impact, it doesn't take long for those shots to turn into some push shots, some hook shots. Um, and on the golf course, yes, you might see the ball turning right to left, but you might find it very, very difficult to control. So here's the deal. So what is really going on if I went vertical here? Okay. Really what's going on is as I turn, my hand path goes where? out. As soon as I squat with the right leg and go into flexion, what happens to the weight of the club? It drops, okay, unless I'm trying to hold this thing real firm and try and keep it in this place. But if I'm up here and I relax and I just go, oh, that thing's actually going to shift all by itself. So that's what you said too. You're like, I feel like if I get the club out outside the hands, this little, I'm not talking like Johnny, but I'm sorry, to, or Furick or any of those. I'm just talking about just a little bit outside the hands. And then as soon as you shift, boom, that thing just, you saw what mine did when I did it. It's crazy, okay? But that's a natural shift. And you know that it's natural when you see a guy and you can see the actual shaft looked a little blurry, that's when you know it's been natural. When you see a guy up here and going like this, you know that was manipulated. Does it make sense? Yeah. You're not manipulating. Does that feel like you're manipulating that no, at all? because when I got it, when I have the old backswing, I get in here, I yeah. feel like I had to, so do something. right arm was tucked in to try and keep it down there. But when I get out here, I just feel like I just keep my arm soft. Yeah, just soft and it'll fall by itself. That's yeah. the same thing that I feel. I feel as soon as my arms get too tight, it doesn't shallow out. I see this usually out of juniors and players that hit the ball farther, right? Is I see the right arm staying too bent again, and I see the body starting to slide and tilt and work its way under. But you can see the same example here. My right arm is way too flexed for too long. Now they're going to throw their hands at it. They're gonna hit pushes, blocks, and hooks. But I'm not bringing the club out to get it down there. I'm not going like this to get it down there. 
I'm blending the unfolding of my right arm with a little bit of pivot and turn as I get down into the hitting area. Now, if you found this or any of our other videos helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like below, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss a video from this.